Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. Israel looks to build Middle East super alliance against Iran to join fight in Syria. Israel has called on Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states to come out of the closet to help take on their mutual enemy, Iran, after they all supported Trump's withdrawal from the Iranian nuclear deal. Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman said other Arab states should join Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu by supporting Trump's hard line against Iran after recent violence in the Middle East. Mr. Lieberman said, who supported Trump's decision to withdraw from the nuclear agreement with Iran? Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the Gulf states. I think it's time for those moderate countries to come out of the closet and start talking openly. Just like there's an axis of evil, it's time for the Middle East to have an axis of moderate countries. Violent tensions between Gulf nations have picked up again this week, amid the fallout from us rejection of the Iran nuclear deal. Israel launched further attacks on Iran on Wednesday, responding to fire in Syria. Shortly after Trump announced the U.S. was pulling out of the deal, Israeli jets launched airstrikes against an Iranian military site in Syria. Before the announcement, the Israeli military had warned of an impending rocket attack from Iran in Syria. Analyst Frida Gaidas said, Iran is firing more rockets into Israel. Israel has responded forcefully to violations of its red lines. This is extremely serious. Trump pulled out of the deal on Tuesday, saying that it was the worst deal that America has ever had and that the whole agreement was defective at its core. However, the president has been told that he made a mistake by Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini. Mr. Khomeini said, I said from the first day, don't trust America. French President Emmanuel Macron also called Trump's decision a mistake. Despite Trump's shock rejection, Iran has promised to maintain the deal, as long as it still has the support of France and the UK. Rouhani said, if we achieve the deal's goals in cooperation with other members of the deal, it will remain in place. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.